Lion's Head in particular has a place in my heart and it's really easy to see why. Last year we were at risk of potentially losing Lion's Head because it wasn't being written into the Niagara Escarpment Commission's plan. That it's a privilege to climb here, not a right. I want to be involved in keeping this place open. So who am I? Just call me Little Mike, man. It's, you know, because I hang out with Big Mike. I'm Big Mike, he's Little Mike. And I'm not big because I'm big. I'm big because he's little. <laughs> What makes Lion's Head special? Just look at the view, right? It's beautiful. Lion's Head is special because the backdrop, I mean, sometimes you take photos here or you're at the top of the cliff and it looks like you're in Thailand or something in terms of the turquoise water. It's difficult not to take a good photo here. Here's the shooter. Here's the shooter. The climbing here is exceptional, uh, probably the best in Ontario. It's a vast cliff, it's huge. It's not like your typical vacation rock climbing areas where they have signs to which cliff you want to go to and there's some logistics that you need to learn. There's some route finding. If you want to climb at you know, one end of the cliff, well then you got to rappel and you got to scramble your way out. A good day at um, your easy sport crag, you're like, yeah, I did 10 pitches, that was a good day. Here, you're like, four pitches in, man, that was a good lion's head day. <laughs> so I guess we've been climbing at lion's head since about 2010. Uh, the cool thing with when we started here is it wasn't that busy. So it would just be the two of us, like, just trying to figure it out. Because you hope someone's gonna fall. That's a whole mass, I do. We just assumed every route started as a hanging blay or from the top, and we didn't have other climbers around to be like, hey, you guys, you know there's a trail down there, and you can just hike around. And most of the routes start from the bottom. Uh, we had done some development in Beaver Valley, and so we kind of knew what we were doing. Little Mike and I were rebolting routes and contributing to make things safer. We started realizing that there were routes here that no one had bolted yet. We both looked at this line and thought, there's definitely something that goes up here. And so, a lot of cleaning, a lot of time spent pulling off loose rock and making it safe. Camista was the impetus to really start bolting a lot of the other stuff. We bolted it four years ago. It's a fairly obvious line. It goes through a dihedral, which is quite nice and powerful. Uh, she starts pretty burly down low. You sort of like lay back your way to this flaky, overhanging dihedral. You get a nice rest after an awkward mantle. And then you move on to the face, and it's pretty techy, pretty thin, climbing on black rock. It's quite nice serves as a pretty good warm-up before you move on to something else. It's a terrible warm-up. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I think there's a less awkward way to do that, right? Not good footage. After you rest, you have some pretty casual climbing that leads to this 
kind of thin traverse, and then you have a couple more technical flabby moves to the chains. First time you're on it, it feels really hard, and then, then it feels all right. I thought it was pretty fitting to name the route after essentially the vehicle that brought us here. After the Lions had beat down, we'd go to the marina, we would have a couple of drinks, and we would just talk about how you know awesome this place is. And we're at the marina, it'd be really cool to have a boat, you know, be part of this community. Hey man, we're grown-ups, like we had money, so why don't we just buy a boat? Yeah, basically I searched on Kijiji for a, <laughs> a sailboat, I found a sailboat that was probably not super seaworthy and uh, made the leap of faith. Mike and I purchased the boat. Yeah, it's our new home. <laughs> I think it's probably one of the best things that I have done in my life. <laughs> it's been excellent. It's been a great home base to have. The idea was really to make Lions a little bit more accessible and to be able to accomplish more in a day. And not only that, it's nice to see the cliff from the boat. We also wanted to cut down the hike because the hike in and the hike out kind of sucks. So with the boat, we realized that we could get a dinghy and we could cut the hike down to 10 minutes in on the boat. It's good from far, but far from good. It looks great when you're like far away from it. And then you look a little closer and you realize there's no sail. There's no canopy. There's cracks all over the top. And it looks like crazy. <laughs> but it works perfectly for us. Tattoo. Well, I just kept bad tattoos. Yeah, so we kind of screwed up. So there's the boat, but this one has sails. We don't really put the sails on the boat. It's more like a floating cottage. Wow, look at that beautiful thing. We are sort of like the lovable laughing stock at the marina, right? Where they see us taking it out and they're like proud of us, but like half worried about us. Well, actually, where you, the way we see it is you got some young guys going after a sport. You know, and you love it, and this is just your cottage. Of course, you guys don't drink, so it's oh, very no, healthy no. and food no, no. yeah. I'm like half lit now. Is that a good idea? Okay. You're fucking spare parts, aren't you, bud? Oh. They love seeing us around. They they understand that we're not boaters. It's just a vehicle to get us here. Four knots, heading southwest. No idea. There's a chick baggage. Yeah. All the women watch you. Like a rock star. That's right. That whole marina over there, they see the cliffs. They boat by them, they come out and they watch the climbers, but they never had 
direct access to the climbers. They were just observing. So now we're the voice to the community. What do I know about sailing? Like actually, pretty much nothing. Uh, what do you want to know about sailing? Because I probably don't know anything. That's true. I hit that boat over there. I know how to like sail a little bit. I did learn a little bit off of YouTube, yeah. but it requires a lot of time that would take us away from climbing. All right, go rock climbing. All right. Should pretend like it's hard. Our skills involve being able to pull the boat out from dock with a motor. All right, didn't hit anything. Drive the boat, is that even the right term? <laughs> Drive the boat into the harbor, anchor it, go climbing for the day. Hopefully not lose an anchor and bring the boat back. That's about it. Uh, yesterday we anchored where we always thought was a good spot, which had a rocky bottom, which we had previously lost an anchor at, and we lost another anchor. <laughs> Basically we just couldn't pull it up. It took an hour and a half to get one of the two back. <laughs> we don't know what we're doing, really. You want me to keep turning? Towards the shore. Towards the ship correct. You mean starboard. With climbing, sometimes when you're falling or disaster strikes, you don't you don't really see it. Ah! With sailing, you like see it coming for the next three minutes. And you can do nothing. I was suggesting we just buy cinder blocks for a uh, one-time one -time use. <laughs> use. So what keeps me going is there's still a lot of stuff to climb here, and there's probably still a few routes to be put up as well. You just need to put in the time and the work, and you have a bit of imagination. Come on, come on. Come on. We should talk about how part of the duty of having this boat, I feel, and I think we both feel this way, is to help us bring new talent. <laughs> Essentially bring people out of the gym and show them show them the way. Yeah, it's good. It's it's hard. It's definitely harder than you made it look. Yeah, there's a really good rest on the bottom. Skip Lucas over here, Captain Smythe, Foreman Penny, <laughs> he's kind of a dick. Yeah, the mics have been taking me out to Lion's Head ever since about early last summer. Been teaching me about access, route development, and how to climb in Ontario. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty lucky to be able to, to stay on the boat with these guys. It's like a privilege for me, so I yeah, I'm pretty grateful to be able to get to do that. The most important thing I've learned with the mics is uh, just, I think, not to take myself too seriously. Just like have fun and enjoy being here. Like it's a beautiful place with the Georgian Bay right behind you. risk last year of potentially losing access and it's important for us as climbers to make sure that we are being respectful of the locals and show that like not only do climbers respect this place we clean up after the people that don't respect it because we don't want to lose it it's one of my favorite places ever
<laughs> Four. Wow. Russian. Russian. <laughs> See, you should have filled it this time. It's fucking better. Guys, don't talk shit about Sean. He can hear us. <laughs> <laughs> Even if